Hi everyone. Well, we finally have the model exam for the oral eye test 2018. And today I'm going to show you five funky features that you're going to want to learn and show to your students before they go practice. The features are really going to help them. So let's go to it. All right, so we finally got our model exam for 2018 that's going to be much closer to what your students are going to be doing this year. And I want to show you a few funky features that you might not be aware of and you want to share with your students when they go in and play around with this version. So there's a clock so that they can keep track of their time. Now, the test should take them about 13 minutes, but you can give them up to 30 minutes. They really don't need that much time. So in order for them to keep track, there's a clock up here. And if you can't see it when you go in, click on this. And here it shows you how many minutes are left. So that was funky feature number one. Let's go and see what it looks like. The first part of the test has general instructions. Hi, I'm Alfie. Welcome to the oral bug root exam. At the end of these general instructions, your students are going to be asked to answer a question right off at the beginning, which is a good thing because then when you're listening to the files for the matkonet, you'll know whose file you're listening to. So let's hear. Before we start, let's practice. Tell me your first name, how old you are, and how you are feeling today. Record your answer. So in order to record my answer, I click on Haklata Chuvot. And what you need to pay attention here and point out to the students, even though it's explained earlier on as well, is that there is no pause button on the recorder here. You record and you can stop and you can listen. However, if you stop in the middle, it's going to sound as if you've stopped recording. So we don't want them using the stop button as a pause button. They need to click on the record button and record whatever they want. If they want to gather their thoughts for a few seconds, tell them to just leave the recording running and then they can continue and then they can stop and listen. So let's try it. Hi, my name is Adele and I'm old enough to be your grandmother and it's none of your business really and I'm feeling pretty good today. Let's see how this sounds. So I'm gonna stop and listen. Hi, my name is Adele and I'm old enough to be your grandmother. Okay, so that worked and I'm happy with that. So I click on Shmira Veskira. And that was funky feature number two. Funky feature number three is the option to edit. I can go in and I can listen to it again if I want to. Hi, my name is Adele. And if I don't like it, I can click here on the delete button and funky feature number three, delete. Yes, I really want to delete. But then I have to remember that I have to start all over again. I'm going to be nicer this time. Hi, my name is Adele and I'm years old and I'm feeling pretty good this morning. How are you? Okay, let's see. Hi, my name is Adele and I'm years old and I'm feeling pretty good this morning. How are you? Okay, I like that. So I'm not gonna delete it, I'm going to save. Good job. Let's go on to part B of this exam. Okay. Now you will talk about your project. Present your project in a two to three minute monologue. Then I will ask you a set of questions about the project. Remember, your answers must be detailed and clear. So, the umbrella topic of my class was out of this world, Space Israel 70. 
and my personal topic was are there really aliens in space? Um, the most interesting thing that I was able to do during this topic was to work with students from other school. They did a lot of stuff and this is not going to be three minutes because I'm just doing this as an example. So let's hear it. So the umbrella topic of my class was Okay, that's world. better. So that was funky feature, record and delete. After I've answered a few of the questions, but I want to go to this button here, which says Tzfiya B'prinam Le'ah. This is really important to show your students, especially if they're popping around a little bit, to be sure that they've done the entire test. So we go in and we see that this part hasn't been answered. We can see that this part has. And I see that this is empty, so I'm going to go back. And... Today, I'm going to ask you about your hometown. Tell me where you live and a little bit about the place. What is your favorite place in your hometown? Why? Would you recommend your hometown to others? Explain why. So now I have the prompts and I'm going to talk about all of the prompts that they asked for here. So I'm going to move this aside. I live on Kibbutz Nirim. I was actually born in the States, but I grew up on Kibbutz Nirim. And that's where I live now. Um, my favorite place here is uh, the dining room because that's where everybody gets together and gets to see each other. Um, I think you should come and visit Nirim or, or another kibbutz and see what it's like living here because it's a really nice community and kibbutzim are nice places to grow up in and have children in and they're friendly places to live. So I really recommend that you come and try out a kibbutz. Okay, so I'm going to stop. And now listen. So I live on Kibbutz Nirim. I was actually born in yep. the States. That's good. As I said before, if I want to, I can delete it. But I don't want to delete it. I'm going to save and continue. And then I'm going to go back again to the rest of the test and check. Here it is. This is what I just recorded. Part one, and this has a recording. And tell your students to be sure that they've done the entire test before they finish. And funky feature number five is in order to finish, you do shmiravi yitzia. Tell your students to be very sure not to leave the testing room before they do shmiravi yitzia. After they've done Shmiravi Yitzia, they cannot go in and reassess it again. Here we can because it's just Tirgul. But on the real exam, once you've clicked Shmiravi Yitzia, they are finished. Well, now that you've seen the five funky features, I suggest you go to the computer lab yourselves, play around with it, get to know the program better. And in the lesson that you have with your students when you're preparing them for it, Tell them about the features, write it on the board, and then again, when you go to the computer lab with them before they start it, put it on the board again, remind them of it, and I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Best of luck to you and your students, and please don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. Bye. Digitally yours.